بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ وسلط وسلام علی خاتم الانبیاء ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ اسلامک انڈرسٹینڈنگ آف مین از اے ڈیفیکلٹ ٹاسک بٹ پرہیپس ود ہیلپ اللہ زبان و تعالیٰ وی کین ٹرائی اینڈ ٹرائی ٹو میک اٹ ایز ایزی ایز پاسبل فار آل آف اس دا قرآن بگنس ود اے ریولیوشنری اپروچ اینڈ ٹیلس اس اللہ زبان و تعالیٰ has created human being in best mold لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَ نَسَانَ فِي أَحْسَنَ التَّقْوِيمِ that human beings have been made in a perfect shape and that takes care of all those preconceived ideas that human being gradually developed through evolutionary process and learned ultimately how to walk and talk and think the Quran smashes all these man cooked ideas and tells us that the creator who made this highly beautiful universe also made beautiful human being in his own right not as a byproduct of any any evolutionary process the wordings again tell us that this ahsan taqweem this best constitution is will be incomplete if human being was only an animal constitution means that by way of his physiological biological structure the this structure is in its best form and only a student of medical science or physiology or anatomy will be able to bear witness that when we look into human body every single limb and every single organ has been structured and designed in such a way that no one but the creator can do it human beings with all their excellence in scientific development still fail to come up with something similar to it all simulations remain simulations and do not assume the status of originality therefore it was necessary that human being should also be given the power to think power to decide and therefore the quran tells us that when human being was created by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he asked angels what do you think about this creation and they said well if this human being is going to have some power then he is bound to create problems for humanity and the answer came by way of a demonstration and that was adam or the first human being was taught names of things and then allah subhanahu wa taala asked those things to be named but angels could not name those while adam could do it this demonstration showed them whatever they are thinking about human being is their short sightedness is not ultimate truth and therefore human being was given with the capacity to think and decide ethical judgment and morality became the real hallmark of human being every human being born as a child as a toddler as an adult as a um, well groomed person has this capacity to differentiate and think between what is right and wrong even a person who violates a traffic signal because of some emergency believes what he or she has done is wrong even a person who smokes understands very well that he or she is not only killing slowly his own self but also polluting the whole air this pollution can cause others serious problems therefore sense of ethical judgment or ethical decision is what makes a human being a real human being and that means for everything we have to think 
before we act. Human psychology tells us that either we decide by way of rational thinking or by emotional thinking. Therefore, modern psychologists talk about emotional intelligence. The Quran tells us that intelligence is to be based on ethics and not just emotions or rationality. Rationally, a person may make a judgment, but ethically that may be wrong. It may be very rational for someone as a dictator to control his people, penalize them, otherwise he will lose power. But is that also ethically right? Therefore, all rational decisions cannot be always ethically valid. Who should decide about it? Every individual. Suppose everyone decides, should we stop on green light or go on green light? Then what will happen ultimately? Clash, conflict, accidents. But since we assume that after trial and error, a body known as legal authority has made traffic laws and regulations given to police force, given to civil society and people follow it, then there is no more room for every individual deciding for himself or herself, should I drive at 95 km an hour or 70 km an hour. There has to be a norm. If these norms are needed for everyday uh, physical activities, why not a universal norm for human beings? Therefore, the Quran provides that universal norm according to which all human beings, Muslim or non-Muslim, when they speak truth, when they are honest, when they are fair, they are bound to get reward for that. And if they are crooked and wrong and deviant, they are bound to get consequences for it. This is how Islam looks on human being as an ethical being, responsible being and someone who has a purpose of life.